Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan, and we are officially almost to Scream 6, guys. We got, I think, what, one more Friday to go? Or two more Fridays to go? March 10th, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're almost there. Uh, I think yesterday was 18, so I think we're 17 or 16 days away. So we're getting close. The countdown is on. I'm excited. I got my tickets already. Uh, I can't wait to go watch the movie. But enough about being excited about the movie. Let's talk about the picture on the screen. We got to talk about Scream 6 being in 3D. There was some news a while back that I had done a video on with Scream going to be in 3D. I kind of wanted to talk about that for a minute and just give some feedback. You know, there's never been a Scream movie in 3D. We've never seen Scream in 3D yet, right? And I think that's for a reason. I mean, I, I feel as if sometimes this is just me speaking personally and it's nothing against the directors nothing against radio science it's nothing against paramount or whatever but i feel like sometimes directors and producers and people who make the movie they don't know what to do so they just kind of slap on 3d on the movie and they're like 3d you know like oh let's put in 3d and these kind of movies i feel like don't need 3d you know i mean is it fun because it's different Sure, right? It's going to be a different experience. We've never seen a Scream in 3D. My question is, how is this going to affect the movie? You know, um, obviously, I think with 3D, what they're trying to do is, well, let me say this. I remember back in the day when I was young and I went to watch 3D movies, I, I hated it. I was not a fan. I used to have the 3D glasses, you know, you had the red and the blue and you would have to wear them while you watch the movie. And it was just okay. Like, I, I've never really been a big fan of 3D movies like so but I know today with our technology and we have like 4DX and we have all this new stuff right it, it's gonna make the movie different but I wonder in a way of will 3D actually brighten your experience for Scream 6 you know will it make it more alive because I mean Scream is a, a jump jumpy movie right I mean there, there's jump scares there's scary scenes there's funny scenes but i feel as if this movie isn't gonna have those they're not gonna have enough in it to utilize the 3d and maybe i'm wrong you know maybe they're gonna utilize the 3d really well and those faces gonna be super more menacing in 3d right i mean maybe like a knife will go through the screen or you know, as we see on the picture on the screen on my computer screen, you know, we have Ghostface holding a shotgun, you know, maybe that shotgun's going to be pointed out of the screen and into the audience. Like, I guess there's things like that they can do. But I just for me, I don't see this movie being good in 3D. And I, I hope they prove me wrong. You know, I do want to watch the movie in 3D. I hope I get a chance. Um, I'm, I already got my tickets for June or sorry for June for March 10th. Man, if it was in June, I'd be so sad. Uh, I already got my tickets for March 10th. So. I'm getting excited. It's right around the corner. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to just talk about this real quick. What do you guys think about Scream 6 being in 3D? Do you think it's going to be worth seeing? Did you buy your tickets in 3D or did you buy them in regular? You know, this is a big question that we have to ask. Is it worth paying the money to see Scream 6 in 3D? And maybe some of you are just going because it's unique and we've never had a Scream movie in 3D. So you're like, oh, I got to check this out. But Anyways, guys, I'm excited for the movie. We're almost there. The countdown's on. Uh, keep getting excited with me. We're going to continue talking about Scream content. Uh, I've been re-watching the movies. I'm currently on Scream 2 right now um, while I've been... Uh, yeah, so... Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. As always, I am Nathan, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.